Here's a few tips on 3D printing standoffs. When you're designing an enclosure for 3D printing, it's a good idea to prototype sections before printing the whole project. So if you're looking to mount components to an enclosure, one of the best ways to secure them is with standoffs and machine screws. A standoff is basically a support structure that elevates a PCB so that it has enough clearance for the bottom. In this example, I have a standoff on each corner, so this levels out the PCB, and two mounting holes over here allow me to secure the parts together with machine screws. So what you wanna do is print out just the foundation with standoffs, and this makes it easier to revise your prototypes. I made a cutout in the center of the standoffs here, and this means it'll take less time to print the part, saving me both on time and material. When you fasten a screw through a 3D printed standoff for the first time, it'll actually create the threading for you, so you don't have to draw that in CAD. You want to adjust the size of your mounting hole so that it's actually smaller than the screw head itself. Mounting holes need to have a tight tolerance so that the machine screws stay in place. A standoff with a mounting hole should have a thickness of at least one and a half millimeters so that it doesn't break when you're fastening the machine screw. Applying a chamfer on the outer edge of a mounting hole creates like a 45 degree opening so that the screw head can get recessed into the surface. And you want to do that because otherwise the screw won't fit all the way inside, it'll stick outside, and it could scuff up other surfaces. And there you have it, just some quick tips on 3D printing standoffs for enclosures. I hope this helps you speed up your design revisions, and if you guys have any tips, go ahead and drop them in the comments. That'll help me out and other people too. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printing videos from Adafruit. I'll see you guys next time.